Part two of this video, we're going to continue on working on our industrial end table. I'll put a link in the bottom to part one. Follow along as we finish this project up. Here's the table that we're working on. This is part two of building an industrial steampunk style table. I had the base in the basement and I'm making the top and mounting it. What we're going to do here I think is make a little bit of a design on there and then just dowel it to the top. So let me get that straightened up and just laid out and we'll cut it out and see what it looks like. I laid out my center and I sp we split the difference on the first one and I just used my compass and marked equal spaces all around. You can cut up some kind of a template. doesn't have to be perfect. Some kind of a little template and just go around and make teeth for a gear. We're going to make it shaped like a gear. I'll head over to the bandsaw. We'll get this cut out see what it looks like when it's done. my piece painted one coat. I want to put another coat on it but I want to drill the holes in it to mount it. I've got the center marked. I'll just set that up there about where it goes. There's two going to be two bolt holes but one, the first one I'll just make and then I'll level it up and make the second one. First one's going to take a bolt. The second one's going to take a screw so I'll drill that out. See if I can find a bolt around to put that in and we'll see what it looks like. Now we'll just set the top on there and see what it looks like. Right, now we'll work on what we're going to do to hold the back up. I have this piece left over from where I cut out this gear. Left over from some failed project. I'm thinking about putting it on the back like that, cutting it out the same way like a gear, putting it on the back and maybe putting a couple blocks to hold it up, dowel it into the top. I'm not sure that's going to be strong enough. I'm going to have to do something else for support. I think that'll give it a good look going through with the gear here, the gear there, industrial. So I'll cut that up and see what it looks like. All right, are these temporary where I want them? Now I'm going to mark the pieces, one with two marks and one with one mark. And I'm going to mark where they go. Then we'll dowel them in there. We'll get them sanded up. Alright, let's make some marks and we'll drill some holes for dowels. 
push some dials in. Cut them off at three eighths. We'll put some blue in there. here. There she are and she fits. We'll throw a clamp on there. And a clamp on this one. And we'll let that set. The bottom of this. Okay, I've got my four points in. I'm going to try and get that in place without dropping them out. Put that in. And I'll put my bolt in. Maybe. Put it where I want it. I'm going to wrap this up right here, uh, not because I'm not close to being done and I would have liked to got it all into one, but I bought a new video editing program and it's driving me up a wall. I've lost the whole thing twice. Uh, uh, as far as the video goes, I was able to retrieve all the clips, but I put it all back together and it just was giving me fits. I think I've got it figured out now, but I just... Don't want to lose it again, so I'm going to put this video out, and then I'll have one more of finishing it up, and it shouldn't take too long. Follow along, and uh, you'll see how it ends up.